Gibson of the International Secret Police. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. Ceiling zero. The octopus, knowing that Speed and Clint are investigating the Atlantean syndicate, of which he is the head, seeks every means in his power to destroy the secret police before they can penetrate into the interior of Africa. It now appears as if he is about to succeed in the town of Casablanca, Morocco. Clint has been trapped in a secret passage in the house on Luzanne Street, from which Smiley disappeared. By a false message, the octopus has brought Speed to the house also and sent Ahmed, head of the Moroccan police, to another address, supposedly to meet Clint. While the ace operator of the secret police is trying to tell Speed how to work the panel that opens the entrance to the secret passage, he hears the boy call for help. And now we find him vainly trying to escape from his prison to aid his nephew. Let me out of here! Let me out of here, I say! The panel's moving! It's rolling back! Speed! Speed! I'm okay, Chris. I got this fellow now. Here, quick, turn on your flashlight. Right. Uh, Why... Why, it's the Arab that told me you wanted reinforcements here. Oh, it is, is it? Must have followed you here. Evidently, the octopus wanted him to do the job. What job? Get rid of both of us while we were isolated in this house. God. I know nothing. Nothing. Oh, no? Come on, Speed. I want to get out of this place while we can. Keep your gun on this rat. Don't worry, I will. Where are we going, Clint? Back to the police station? Yeah. Uh, as soon as we learn where Ahmed is. And I'd advise you telling us where he is now for your sake. They are waiting at the rug shop on next street. Then lead us to that rug shop right now. No, my friend, you are not under arrest. We have come here to meet someone, that is all. But why my poor little shop? I am innocent. My rugs are innocent. Oh, peace, rug merchant. Aye, aye. Ahmed, Mr. Balo and boy, with another, they come. Hi, Ahmed. Golly, are we glad to see you. So, speak. But what is this mystery, Mr. Balo? Where is the exit of the secret passage? Before we say anything more, let's find a quieter place to talk it on. Can one of your men take charge of this prisoner? Prisoner? Oh, but yes. Sidi. Yes, sir. We leave this prisoner in your hands. Got him well while we retire to a more secluded room. Yes, Captain Arkin. Beyond this rug hanging in the doorway, you shall find a quiet room. Well, this is better. Now, quickly, Arkin, tell me exactly what made you come here. Not only leaving me in the secret passage, but closing the entrance to it as well. An Arab came into the room where we were awaiting your reappearance, Mr. Barlow. He simply said that you had summoned him from the passing crowd... And told him to come to 167 Luzanne, find me, and urge me to join you here at this rug shop. He said the exit of the secret passage was in this shop. He knew of our movements in such detail that I suspect nothing. Yeah, that's the way of the octopus. The whole thing was a deliberate trap to get Speed and me together. Separated from you and your men. And then to probably destroy us. Mm. Let that be a lesson to you, Speed. Never make a move unless you have positive proof I ordered it. Don't worry, Clint. I'll sure be more careful next time. What do you intend doing now, Mr. Barlow? Leave Casablanca just as soon as we can get to the plane and take off, Ackman. What about the search for Smiley? We dare not stay here any longer, Speed. In searching for Smiley, we stand to lose our own lives. And after all, we've a job to do. That's more important than anything else. Yes, and be assured that we shall continue our search for some clue as to the fate of your friend. Thank you, Ackman. We'll keep in touch with you from Mazagam. Just ask Mazagam just ahead, huh, Clint? Yeah. I think I'll circle the town and see if I can find a good landing field inside Mazagam. As long as we're going to meet Carlos at... When was it again? Spinney's Garden. Yeah. Maybe we could land near there. Could you spot it from the air? Oh, easily. The house and grounds are very large. Well, if we could land near them, we wouldn't have so far to go. We'll see. Boy, 
colors are so bright they hurt my eyes. Yes, the African sun accents everything, Speed. And one important thing to remember, never go out into it without a hat on. No, I had a taste of it in Casablanca. Hey, it's getting windy around here. Plane's bucket. <laughs> You're telling me it's going to be tough to drag that town in this wind. If I get too low, a downdraft is apt to drape us over those battlements ahead. I'll say. Boy, look at all those towers and things. Looks like Mazagon could stand off an army if it had to. It did have to in the old days, I believe. Once it was Portuguese, though now, of course, it's Mohammedan. Well, Carlos will be able to tell you all about the town speed. Gosh, I can hardly wait to meet him. Born in Argentine, once a gaucho, and now rated next to you as an operator in the secret police. Carlos does... Yes, you like him. Hey, look, Speed. There's Spinney's garden down there. Yeah. And isn't that a good landing field right beside it, Clint? Looks like some big public square or something. Yes, and deserted for the time being. I think we'll try it, Speed. Fasten your safety belt. I've already fastened it, Clint. I've got a nose in the wind right now, so we'll try it for a landing. Watch out for bumps, though. May hit bad ground breeze in this spot. Okay. I'll look out for it. Tough landing, huh, Clint? Yeah. Harder to land this big ship than the old pursuit planes in a wind like this. All right, hold on. Here we go. We're down, Clint. And from the feel of it, I think it was a three-point landing. <laughs> Boy, you could fly a bathtub if you had to. <laughs> well, I hope I never have to. <laughs> All right. Now pile out and we'll go directly to Spinney's Garden before we do anything else. Say, I see a lot of Arabs gathering outside, Clint. I'm not surprised. Planes aren't so common down here, but oh, they won't bother us. Not unless there's some octopus gangsters among them. Gosh, those Arabs are sure quiet. Not making a noise of any kind. Yeah, they're too busy looking us over, Speed. Trying to figure out just who we are and what our business is. Come along. To lock up the plane? Yes. Well, aren't you going to talk to anybody in that crowd, Clint? No, why should I? The only person I'm interested in talking to is Carlos Del Valle in Spinney's Garden. Yeah, I know. But all those Arabs, they kind of look as if they expected some sort of explanation. The patience of the East speed. Sometimes they conquer great odds by silence and waiting. And then striking when their enemies are lulled into false security. Oh, here we are. Here's the gate. This will take us into the garden. Gee, I'm awfully excited. Everything's so different here in Africa. And now we're going to see Carlos. Clint! Look, here comes one of the Arabs. He's running. Dressed in rags. A beggar, probably. Close the gate, Speed. We don't want to be delayed right now. He's coming right for us. He's dressed like a beggar, all right, but his eyes don't look like one. They're wild and fierce and... Clint, he's got a knife! Quick, inside, Speed. Looks like we're in for some more trouble. Close the gate and get out your gun. We may have to stand off that whole crowd. 